a 7-1 victory tonight against Breek and a convincing victory. Was it as comfortable out on the park as it seemed from the stands? Yeah, I think getting the, the early early goals helped us a lot. Obviously, once we'd done that, they kind of sat in and, and allowed us to kind of play in and round about them. So um, I think it's important when you come places like this where it's going to be difficult. They'll try and make it hard and you need to kind of compete before your qualities obviously um, shine through. And I think tonight we kind of done that for the early stages, get early goals and then they're kind of comfortable winners after that. After the early goal, it was probably what, 30 seconds or something from kick-off and then you managed to get your first goal for the club. Could you talk us through it? Yeah, they, they took centre, um, uh, they tried to play a, a pass inside the park, I think it was a kind of slack pass, the, the pitch was quite sticky tonight, so uh, Faisal's obviously read that and intercepted the ball and then he slid us through and I've just um, kind of played it around the goalkeeper down the bottom corner, so um, pretty comfortable finish in the end. Going into break at 4 0 up, was it just about making sure the standards stayed high in the second half? Yeah, always in games like that where if you've got a comfortable lead um, and you're playing kind of quite well, which I felt we did in the first half, then there's always that, that um, obviously thing that you could maybe complacency can creep in. Um, so it's all about just keeping standards and keeping working hard and, and trying to add to, to the goals that we already had. And obviously, Gaffer made changes, the quality on the bench coming on as well, obviously showed that, that it's good strength and depth in the, the squad and they've come on, scored goals and helped in the goals as well. So it's a, a good squad we've got at the moment. You've played three out of the three competitive matches. How do you feel you're settling in? Yeah, I feel, feel good. Um, I think that as a team, I think everybody's kind of settling in quite well together. There's a lot of new faces that the manager's brought in and we got on quite a well, quite a tight changing room as well. So, no, everybody's kind of gelling well. And these games are important to, to obviously create that winning mentality. And, and we've obviously won the first three games and it's all about continuing that and the momentum and taking that into the, the league campaign as well. In terms of the position or the positions that you've been playing, you, you're obviously very interchangeable across the front line. How do you feel you've kind of adapted to, to this 3-5-2 formation? Yeah, I've played it in the past, uh, the teams before, and um, the gaffer's obviously seen that and he, he knows I can play a number of positions, I'm quite versatile, so um, I'm comfortable as long as I'm, I'm playing and I've tried to do the best for the team. And tonight I've, I've obviously got a goal, my first goal for Dunfermline, which I'm delighted with, but the most important thing was to get the, the, the points tonight and obviously the win, so I've managed to do that. When CL back to you making his first start and, and scoring two goals, Andy Ryan coming off the bench and scoring two goals, yourself and Mel's Hipplight grabbing a goal as well, all strikers on the score sheet, that must give headaches for the manager, but it must give yourself confidence that you know whoever's on the pitch is going to score goals. Yeah, I've shown that tonight, everyone's kind of chipped in and got a goal tonight, um, so... Um, we know if, we can, if we, we're getting any good chances, if we've got people there that can score the goals. It's just um, maintaining the quality we've got in the final third and not get complacent, no slack. And, and obviously, if we create the chances and the amount of chances we are creating in the, the games um, recently, then we're going to score goals. Heading into the game on Saturday against Stirling Albion, nine points is, looks like it might be enough to see us through, but we want to top the group and we want to end it with four wins out of four. Yeah, you want to win every game of football um, I play in, and I'm sure the team's the same and the managers get that mentality as well. So we'll get into the game, um, obviously get a good couple of days training, recover tomorrow and, and then we'll, we'll be full focused on, on Saturday to, to win the game. We'll go into that game and try and win it and get maximum points from the group and, and see where it takes us. Another good crowd along from Dunfermline tonight and hopefully a, a bigger attendance on Saturday. What's your message to the fans heading into Saturday's game? Yeah, just come along, obviously. They've probably seen it themselves. The, the previous games recently, we're playing entertaining football, and and it's obviously it's good to get the support and the backing. And, and the more the more fans, the better for the players on the pitch. We know we've got that backing there, and um, as I say, more more fans come along, and the better it is. We'll try and score goals and try and entertain them. Perfect. Thanks, Wayne.